Mr. Shore, you are one of the IT directors at Haga Group. Can you tell me where exactly we are today? Today we're in the plastics production department at the Blieskaste factory. This is where small parts and fitted components are made specifically for distribution boards and meter cabinets using injection molding technology. We operate around 60 machines in a three-shift system here. So what was the problem here? The deadlines our customers request are of paramount importance to us. But then there is also the availability of machinery and tools to consider. And we have to put these three elements together in the best possible production sequence. Before this project was introduced, it was difficult for us to coordinate all these elements manually. So we would only notice faults or malfunctions or realize that parts were unavailable at the last minute. This always caused us problems in the follow-up procedure. And let's take a look at it now. This injection molding machine has just finished its current job and the associated tool has been removed by the machine setter. The machine sends the corresponding messages to the centralized MES. This is how background progress reports, movement of goods and runtime data to the tool are automatically processed. Subsequently, the machine decides on the next steps to be taken. In this scenario, it sends a travel command to the forklift that operates the manufacturing process and the tool is ready for storage. The exchange of information between the MES, the tool and the forklift happens in real time. The basis for the automated information processing of components involved is the RFID technology. Each tool, forklift and storage location is equipped with a corresponding chip, which can be read by sensors. We're now at the intersection between the production hall and the tool store. Sensors are used to register each tool and the direction in which each forklift is moving as it passes by the gate. This allows the system to keep track of the current status of any components of relevance to production. The system then decides on the optimal storage location for the tool and makes the appropriate warehouse entries. By identifying the shortest routes and showing the driver which way to go and the correct storage location for the tool, the system optimizes the work processes in storage and stock removal. It also collects and analyzes data regarding tool maintenance and initiates any maintenance action required. But despite all this technology, humans are still the linchpin of the intelligent factory. In various situations, our employees have to make a different decision to what the system has told them. This information is manually entered into the system, which then immediately adjusts all the relevant processes in a flexible manner. The forklift display also shows the driver the shortest way to the storage location for the new tool. The sensors on the forklifts, storage locations, and the tools allow us to achieve process reliability of the highest order. They ensure that only the correct tool can be taken from the shelf. The forklift executes its run command. Now all the employee has to do is insert the new tool. Once this has happened, the new production process begins automatically and the status of the machine, tool, forklift and the job are updated accordingly. The intelligent factory helps us to achieve the higher level of efficiency we desire. It keeps us constantly updated on the status of the machinery, materials and tools. The system immediately includes new jobs or changes in the existing sequence so that all the components involved in the process are utilized in the best possible way. It makes outdated planning statuses a thing of the past. The employee can keep an eye on all information on upcoming actions at all times. Mr. Shore, thank you for that fascinating insight into the Intelligent Factory. How long has the project been up and running and what results have you seen so far? The project has been up and running for 18 months now. The results are outstanding. Let's start with the technology. The equipment with the RFID technology and the sensors have definitely proved its worth. Even in this challenging industrial setting, the investments have paid off too. We have seen a noticeable increase in the efficiency of our processes. But even more important than that, we are thrilled at how this project has met with complete acceptance from our employees. Because the processes are visualized on screens, the work processes have been presented in a very transparent way, so it has all been very easy for people to pick up. What does the Intelligent Factory mean for your customers? 
What it means for our customers is that Haga will be able to cater to more individual production demands in the future. It means that we will be able to produce smaller batch sizes and respond to customers' production requests more quickly and more efficiently. What is the next step for the intelligent factory at Haga? This pilot project has encouraged us to roll out the technology and the intelligent factory concept at other sites. Our primary focus is always on better satisfying our customers' wishes, catering to their schedules as best we can and making customization more and more available. Great, thank you Mr. Shore.